Welcome back to the Cook Center Bell Family Arena in Rocky Lamar Court, where we're set for some Heart of America Athletic Conference action between your Mid-American Nazarene University Pioneers and the Evangel Valor, formerly the Crusaders, now the Valor. Evangel comes in undefeated in Heart of America play, 9-2 overall. There are only two losses on the road to the ranked teams. They're on a seven-game winning streak, including a blowout win at NCAA Division II Drury. Coach Burt Capel in his first season as head coach has these guys absolutely rolling right now. The Pioneers come in just a little bit short-handed. No Pedro Lopes, no Caleb Jones McCrary, so they'll be a little undersized. Jake Alexander starting at the four, and Cam Brady set to jump center against Pavel Antonov playing the five spot. And your regular Trey Brown, Darnell Miller, Anthony Brown round out the starters for the Pioneers. And the Valor control the tip, so Idriel Martinborough. And Manrique Alvarado run the guard spots for the Pioneers. They go right inside to Antonov, and it's stolen away by Brady. Good first possession for the Pioneers, as that's going to be a tough matchup at the five spot for the Pioneers tonight as Antonov a force inside. Now Anthony Brown runs off into the top of the key. He's going to come off this high ball screen. Evangel likes to hard hedge those ball screens, see if the Pioneers can play four on three behind that double team. Good ball movement. Darnell Miller, right wing, three ball no good, rebounded by Cade Kaufman. Kaufman, a first-team all-conference player for two straight seasons, had a 40 ball at Drury. I mean, this kid can really fill it up. Should have been another turnover there by Martin Burrow. You can't catch your own pass. Maybe it was deflected. So play stays in possession of the Valor. And then Josh Pritchett traveled with no call. But eventually the Pioneers come up with the basketball. What a hectic start to this game. Pritchett, very athletic scoring should be a junior, but sophomore because of COVID. Transfer from Rockhurst. That's number two in red. He's a really good player. Cam Brady finds a cutting Anthony Brown, and Anthony tries to throw it down on top of two Evangel defenders. Comes down hard, landed on his arm. He was fouled on the dunk attempt. I think he's okay. A little shaken up, getting up. He's such a good cutter. You cannot turn your head if you're defending him because he cuts so well. And Brady drove baseline drew the attention of a couple help side defenders, dropped off a nice pass to Anthony, who had a chance for a highlight play there. But earns himself two free throws. Still a little shaken up, unable to hit the first one. And Anthony's been banged up. Didn't play his normal minutes at Benedictine in the previous conference game due to a foot injury. And the Pioneers desperately need him healthy, dealing with their other injuries. They can't afford to lose that 19 points a game and their best defender. All-American player, number 25 in the white. Vangel running that motion offense, coming off a ton of down screens, flare screens, back screens. It's so tough to defend when it's run well, and they're running it really well right now. Pritchett, shot fake and drive, gets into the paint, finds Martinborough right wing, and Idriel Martinborough, the guard from the Bahamas, knocks down a three. Darnell Miller hesitates, gets into the paint, he got Alvarado to raise out of his stance on that pretty in and out with his left hand. Draws a foul on the drive and kick. So Pioneers will inbound. Get it into Jake Alexander. Back to Trey Brown. Trey drives, kicks, finds Alexander. He's going to try a three. No good. Long rebound ends up in the hands of Darnell Miller. Miller inside to Cam Brady. He kicks it out. Trey Brown probing. Skip past Darnell Miller in the corner, guarded by Antonov. He's got a quickness advantage, takes a three over the top and knocks it down. So Darnell gives the Pioneers a four to three lead. Hand down, man down. Pavel Antonov knew he wasn't quick enough to stay with Darnell, gave him a little too much space and Miller knocks down the three. Now Martinborough goes inside to a cutting Josh Pritchett. Pritchett probes, kicks it back out to Adriel Martinborough. He takes another three and knocks it down. I'll tell you what, his game has come a long way. His freshman year at Evangel, he's such an athletic guard, but you didn't have to guard him at the three-point line. You do now. He's knocking down shots on the perimeter with confidence. Has really grown as a player in his four years there. 
Brady, inside out, extra pass, another extra pass. Jake Alexander, left wing three, too strong. Brady tracks it down, tips it, and saves it to Alexander. Steals the possession, big hustle play there from Cam Brady. Pioneers will reset, see if they can get a look against this hard hedge. Go high post to Alexander, he fakes the handoff. Gets it back to Trey Brown, late shot clock. Brown comes off the screen, splits it, gets it to Alexander. He's got to shoot one at the end of the shot clock and Jake tough double clutching finish from Jake Alexander over the outstretched arms of the 6'8", Pavel Antonov, the Bulgarian. He gets it to go, ties us at six. Big basket there from Jake. Kaufman almost lost the handle, doesn't quite travel, is able to find a cutting Antonov. No good, Cam Brady contesting at the rim, does that well. Pioneers off and running, and Brown has it stripped away by Josh Pritchett. Good hands there from Pritchett. Sat on that spin move, anticipated it. Now Alvarado's going to try a three behind the ball screen. Left it short, rebound Anthony Brown. Brown's going to bring it himself, finds Darnell Miller. Pioneers have numbers all the way down the lane, and Miller drew some contact, tried to finish with the left hand. Official says the contact was with the basketball. No call. And... Idriel Martinborough tried a corner three, but had his heels on the out-of-bounds line on the sideline. So won't get credit for the shot attempt. It'll be a turnover. Pioneers take over. Going to be an awfully tight rotation for the Pioneers, as shorthanded as they are. They're really trying to play about six guys until they can get Pedro Lopes and Caleb Jones-McCrary back in. Darnell going... Looking to go inside to Alexander, couldn't get it to him. Swings it to Brady, who's being guarded by Jace Coffey now. And he goes right at Coffey for the basket. It's only a 6'5 inside player is Coffey, so they're a much smaller team when Antonov goes out. Pull up jumper right side, no good from Martinborough, but he tips out his own rebound to Pritchett. Another shot fake down the lane, and he tries to dunk one home. Brady contesting at the rim. They're going to call a foul. Strong take there from Josh Pritchett. Pioneers have bit on that shot fake a couple times. Coaches teach guys, you try to dunk everything if there's going to be contact because more often than not, if you don't make the dunk and, you, and there's any contact, you're going to go to the free throw line, and that's the case there, even though Brady arguing he went vertical, and he may have, but... You take one that hard to the rim, you get rewarded for it pretty often. Drew Smith checks in for the Pioneers. Smith, the senior from Kansas City. Number 12 in white. Pritchett ties us at eight. Alexander, dribble handoff, Anthony Brown. Pioneers looking to get something off this continuity wing ball screen. Gonzaga action, Euro ball screen action, which is continuous ball screens on the wings. Five players on the perimeter, constantly moving. One roll into the basket after they ball screen. And Brady, shot fake drive, gets to Anthony Brown. He goes baseline, extra pass, Drew Smith, corner three. No good, his first touch. Rebounded by Pritchett, here comes Evangel. Alvarado gets it into Coffey. Shot fakes once, twice, no good, rebound Cam Brady. He's averaging a double-double, about 14 points and 10 rebounds a game. Pulls down a board there. Alexander finds Anthony Brown on the driving kick, and Anthony's going to draw a foul. He euro stepped, got in between two defenders, and wanted to go to the free throw line like he was starting a shooting motion. Officials are going to say it was on the floor. 13 foul on Evangel. And now Autry Accord and Steven Salvi check in for the Evangel, their first action of the game. It's 32 and 20, respectively. Keep your eye on Salvi. He's a high-scoring lefty. Gets a lot of shots up off the bench and can score in bunches. And he bites on Anthony Brown's shot fake. Euro step, floater. There's contact there, no call. A little too strong off the back rim. Alvarado comes off that drag ball screen in transition. Tried to find Cade Kaufman top of the key. It was stolen by Anthony Brown, and he Anthony takes it coast-to-coast from the lane and give the Pioneers a 10-8 lead. He's hobbling just a little bit. I know he's not feeling 100%, but, man, he's so important to the Pioneers. Averaging 19 points, six rebounds, three assists, couple steals, a block. I mean, does everything. Coffee couldn't get it to go. Cam Brady, another huge rebound. And here come the Pioneers. Drew Smith off and running. 
Smith comes to a jump stop, finds a cutting Cam Brady. Brady swings it. Gets Salvi off his feet again. And he's going to draw a foul on Steven Salvi. Salvi with a wry smile. Didn't think he committed the foul. But if you leave your feet, you, you have no right to that place to land anymore. The offensive player go right through you, and it's a foul on you. And that's exactly what happened. Darnell Miller has a left wing. Probing. He drives downhill. Drive and kick. Good extra pass. Trace, Trey Brown to Drew Smith to Anthony Brown. Three ball no good. Darnell Miller offensive rebound. And good hustle play from Miller there. Unable to find a teammate on the scrappy offensive board quest. Ball goes out of bounds and Evangel will take over. As Logan Rogers checks in for Evangel. It's a 6'9 freshman out of Ohio. 23 in the maroon jersey. It's nice to have a crowd back in the Cook Center. We have a student section behind the bench finally. Man, we missed that. Been a couple years since there have been fans down here. They've been upstairs during this COVID time if they've been here at all. And the freshman from Harrisonville, Missouri, Brooks Langer, checks in for the Pioneers. His first action today. He guards the ball now on the right wing. Pioneers fans will recognize that last name, Langer, is his brother, Connor, top 10 scorer all time in mid-America history. And there's Steven Salvi, a little off balance, lefty three ball, and he's capable of doing that. He can score in bunches. Gives Evangel 11-10 lead. Pioneers trying to keep that ball moving on the perimeter. You can't let it stick. Evangel, a really good half-court defensive team. Darnell Miller gets downhill, shot fake, got his man off, off his feet, but couldn't finish. And here comes Alvarado, comes off the drag ball screen. Anthony Brown defeats it, lost his footing, and Alvarado's going to have a step-in three ball and knocks him down. Just unfortunate there. Anthony does a great job getting over the ball screen and just got tripped up. That happens, long game. Cam Brady, good extra pass. Miller takes a three, right corner, no good. Tipped in by Brady. And we're going to get a 30-second timeout from Coach Lamar. We'll see what Evangel comes up with out of this timeout. They've got a 14 to 12 lead. Don't run a ton of set plays. They're a motion offense team, but they have a couple guys who are really capable of hitting shots. Let's see if uh, Coach Burke Capel draws up a little action here to get one of them another look. Salvi just hit one, Alvarado just hit one. Coach Capel, Lots of head, uh, coaching experience, but first time head coach here for Evangel. Of course, he was a standout player at Evangel, part of their national championship run back in the early 2000s. And then has coached all over, including stops at Florida State and other Division I schools. And they've got some, some talented players down from that state of Florida area. Alvarado's down from that southeast. He's from Costa Rica, but went to high school in that southeast area. Salvi's from Florida. Uh, maybe missing one. I know they've got um, another guy or two from down in that south southeast area, and I'm sure that's Coach Capel's connection. He's done an outstanding job here in his inaugural season. So we've got a first-year head coach and a final-year head coach as Rocky Lamar, the Hall of Famer, NAI all-time active wins leader, retiring at the end of this season. And Brady again with a putback. That's two buckets in a row where the Pioneers miss, and Brady's there for the putback dunk. Well, not quite the dunk, just lays it over the front of the rim. And Pioneers are going to go zone. Evangel mishandles the pass. Turnover, we're off and running. Pioneers, Darnell Miller threw that half-court lob to Brady. I like the idea. We're off and running, trying to play fast. Let's score in transition before they can set that half-court defense, but just unable to connect on that one. So we're tied at 14, 11 and a half to go first half. We're happy to be able to provide a free broadcast for you on MNUsports.com and MNU Sports YouTube channel. Go ahead and use that live chat feature. Let us know where you're at in the world, who you're rooting for. You got a player or a, a team that you're supporting and where you're at. It's fun to interact with the crowd because we got guys from all over the world watching. We have alumni in Singapore and Germany and tech everywhere in the country watching these games, and it's just fun to see where you're at and interact during the game. So use that live chat. Steven Salvi has his shot blocked by Cam Brady. Darnell Miller saves it. Pioneers take over possession. And Miller goes to Anthony Brown, left corner. Guarded by Alvarado, skip pass, extra pass. Brooks Langer, shot fake drive, and has his layup attempt blocked. But last touch, Evangel on the block shot, so Pioneers will keep possession. Got to throw it in in that dead coffin corner.
Kim Brady asking for a sub, but as thin as the Pioneers are on the front line, I don't know if he's going to be able to come out much tonight. He's still in the game. Hasn't come out yet. Ball inbounded to Darnell Miller. Get into that continuity ball screen action. There's that hard head. Skip pass open. Miller shot fake and drive. Kicks it out to Jake Alexander. Top of the key three. Give me all three of these. Jake Alexander wide open. Top of the key. Knocks it down. Gives the Pioneers a three-point lead. And they're in that 3-2 zone once again and forced another turnover. So that zone has stymied the Evangel offense a little bit. A couple turnovers in a row here. And there's, there's Brady on that hard hedge. That's exactly what the Pioneers are looking for. They get that big way out in the perimeter hard hedging. If the guard can get rid of it quickly, one dribble and advance it to that lifted big, your roller is going to be wide open. And if he's not, your corner shooter is going to be wide open because they've got to cover a lot of ground to recover on that hard hedge. And Evangel's been doing it for years, and they do it very well. The Pioneers hoping to take advantage. Coach Capel wants to talk things over. 17-14 ball game, 10.30 to go in the first half. MNUsports.com. As play resumes, we're going to get free throw attempts here from Cameron Brady. We've got a couple of Evangel fans in the live chat. Joshua Accord, obviously rooting on Autry Accord and the Evangel Valor. And Daniel Oliverado, all the way from Costa Rica, tuned in here in Olathe, Kansas, watching Manrique play. Such a smooth game, Manrique Alvarado at the point guard spot. So skilled, can shoot it, passes it well reads the floor, and he throws an advance pass here to Steven Salvi, who goes pull-up jumper left corner, no good. Cam Brady the rebound. He's got a bunch of those already. And Darnell Miller, dangerous pass taken in by Jake Alexander underneath. Pioneers setting up some offense here. Going to try to take advantage of that hard hedge, I'm sure. They get it back to Trey Brown. He comes off the ball screen from Brady. Cameron pops. Skip past Alexander. Now Brady left wing. Gets Alvarado, excuse me, got Antonov off his feet, but missed the shot. Pavel may have got a piece of that. I'm not sure if it was a block shot or not. Pioneers back in the 3-2 zone. Excuse me, they're, they're going to go ahead and match up now. Man-to-man -man defense. Evangel in their motion. A lot of down screens and flare screens around the elbows from the Valor. Antonov's going to try a two-pointer top of the key. Feet on that three-point line, no good. Pioneers love that shot for Evangel. And Miller all the way downhill, gets to the rim, left-handed layup, blocked away by Antonov. And that's going to take us to our media timeout, under 10 minutes. Media timeout on the floor. Pioneers lead 19-14, 9-19 to go in the first half. We'll be back after this, MNUsports.com, MNU Sports on YouTube.
Trey Brown set to inbound baseline underneath when action resumes. Band didn't want to quit playing. Everyone else was ready for the game to start. Here we go. Trey Brown has it top of the key. Pioneers get into their floppy action. Go to Anthony Brown, right wing, looking for Brady in the post. Couldn't get it to him. Now they do on that high-low action. Tough catch and almost finish from Cam Brady. Darnell Miller, good pass on that high-low look. And Brady didn't even come down with it. Tried to finish it right off the high-low feed and had a little body contact there from Josh Pritchett. And that's his second personal foul, which is big. As Pritchett's their second leading scorer. Does a lot of things well. Can score inside, outside, defend. He's athletic. He's a key cog to that Evangel Valor team. And Coach Capel showing some faith in him early here in the game, and he's got two going to leave him out there. You know, coaches have different philosophies on that. Some people, when you get two, you're done for the first half. And Pritchett, Pritchett looks over at him and says, I'm fine, don't worry about it. And you got to trust your leaders sometimes, and if they tell you that, you got to have a little faith in them, and they do. Pioneers in that 3-2 zone. They go into Pritchett. Pritchett, nice pass to Cade Kaufman. Shot fake. Drew a foul on Anthony Brown, and Kaufman will go to the line for two. He's been quiet here early on. Again, this is a guy who scored 40 at Drury, or 43, and averages close to 17, close to 20. Can really, really score the basketball, and not on the board yet, and still not. Little announcer jinx there. Missed the free throw. He's got to be 85% free throw shooter or better. Pioneers lead by a touchdown. Make it six. 15-21. Kaufman's on the board now. Under nine minutes to go, first half. Jared Versaw, big MNU fan. Pat the Degenerate. Follow him on Instagram if you want to make some money. Great investing advice from that guy, big MNU fan. And Anthony Brown, what a hook pass. Found a rolling Cam Brady. There's a taking advantage of that hard hedge on the pick and roll action. Good two man game, and Brady lays it in. 25 15 is your lead. Steven Salvi, ill advised three, top of the key. No good. Excuse me, 23 15, eight point ball game. Darnell Miller probes. Swing, swing. Trey Brown, baseline drive. Shot, shot fake, cutting Anthony Brown. He does that so well. That's what I'm talking about. Any drive from the baseline, Anthony's going to cut from that slotted area and almost had a dunk first play of the game. Gets himself an easy deuce that time, and now it is a 10 point lead for the Pioneers. And they settle back into that 3 2 zone. Salvi's got another three. This is a good one from the left corner, knocks it down. What a difference in those two possessions. That dribble up. Early shot clock three, and that time balls worked around, and he got himself a clean catch and shoot. He's going to knock that one down all day. Anthony Brown, tough move, and one. The hoop and the harm. Anthony Brown gets downhill on the right wing all the way to the corner, gets a tough floater to go off the glass, took the contact. He's going to go to the line for three points the old-fashioned way. And that's the second foul on Steven Salvi. So Salvi and Pritchett each with two on the floor for the, the Valor. I keep wanting to say the Crusaders. They've been the Crusaders my whole life. They are no longer that. They are the Valor now. I'll get it right. And Anthony converts on the three-point play, knocks down the free throw. He's up to eight points in the game to lead all scorers. Pioneers back into man-to-man -man as Drew Smith checks back in. Really small lineup from both groups now. Neither team playing a true big. Anthony Brown and Jake Alexander at 6'5 for, for the Pioneers. And Pritchett's about 6'5", 6'6". Kaufman, the only size on the floor for Evangel. So both teams playing a little bit of small ball here as Accord checks back in. Pioneers don't have much of a choice with their two in, with their injuries and ineligibilities at the big spot. Evangel has plenty of options with size, but choosing to go small. And Trey Brown all the way to the rim. Scores over Kaufman, a tough finish. Highly contested layup on the right side. Kaufman played excellent defense in transition there, but Trey, tough finish. He's on the board. Pioneers a 12-point lead. Salvi, that's a shot the Pioneers will live with, that contested two-point pull-up. Yeah, I thought they were going to pass on that. Salvi takes a bad shot. Pioneers don't box out. Valor come away with the offensive rebound. And then Idriel Martinborough thought about a jumper and then passed it to himself. You can't do that. So Pioneers will have the ball when we come back from this timeout. 30 to 18 is the lead. Seven minutes to go at MinuSports.com.
play resumes. Martinboro picks up full court. Trey Brown crosses the timeline. Comes off a little two-man action with Alexander. Still probing. Gets it to Drew Smith. Extra pass Miller. Darnell gets in the paint. Drive and kick. And that pass batted away, but Anthony Brown comes away with it. Smith has it in the corner. Now Jake Alexander's going to drive. Drops it back to Drew Smith. Drew Smith, extra pass. There's a cutting Anthony Brown. And he's going to go to the line for two. As that ball was stolen away by Autry Accord, but got a piece of the arm on the steal attempt. And the shot clock was about to run out, so Anthony Brown was going into the shooting motion on the catch, and so he's going to go to the line for two here. That's a good defensive play by Accord. He read the extra pass, came over and helped, and almost had the steal, which is unfortunate. Sends a good shooter to the line, and Anthony knocks down the first 31-18 lead. This free throw can put Anthony into double digits here already in the first half. And there it is. He's got 10. Both teams staying with that small ball five-guard lineup, or five-guard forward lineup, I should say. Although Cam Brady's set to check in. Next dead ball for the Pioneers. Trey Brown guards Alvarado right side. He comes off a ball screen. They're going to switch everything with this group, I'm sure. And they do so far. Except Anthony Brown is glued to Cade Kaufman. Kaufman does get a three off at the end of the clock. Misses everything. Rebound Jake Alexander. Pioneers off and running. They've got a three-on-two opportunity. Trey slows it down. And oh, my goodness. A big collision near midcourt. Alexander got drilled by Cade Kaufman. Not a dirty play. They're both going for a, an errant pass. They both have a right to the ball, but there's a ton of contact there. Kaufman ran right through Alexander, but he's okay. No whistle on the play. Just sideline out of bounds. Pioneer ball. Alexander goes to Cameron Brady. Brady probing. Gets it to Trey Brown. Sets the ball screen. Now he's going to clear out. Trey to Darnell Miller. Continuing to work it on the perimeter. Darnell probing. Just a Brady late shot clock. Cam's going to have to take a tough contested jumper. Too strong. Rebound Salvi. Comes Evangel. Alvarado pushes. Gets to Accord. Back to Alvarado. Good take there from Enrique Alvarado. Pretty in and out dribble, but took a tough shot left side over a couple defenders. Couldn't get it to go, but offensive rebound, Cade Kaufman, and he draws the foul. Kaufman's such a good player. I mean, he can score in bunches, but he's a leading rebounder, defends well. He's versatile, can play inside and out. And Evangel's going to steal a two-pointer and a foul. They're going to chance for a three-point play here on a baseline out of bounds as Adriel Martinborough snuck behind the defense there. I don't know if the Pioneers weren't set, didn't know that the official had handed Evangel the ball, or if that was just a blown assignment and Martinboro snuck behind everybody and earned himself two, missed the free throw, and Evangel's going to come away with an offensive rebound after the ball's batted around. That's just lazy box out on the free throw line by the Pioneers. <laughs> Luckily, Evangel's going to throw it into our bench, and the Pioneers will take over the possession of the basketball. After a little bit of a hectic couple of minutes there, both teams have settled things down a bit, run some offense here. Darnell Miller is going to handle the ball as the point guard as Trey Brown takes a seat for the first time in the game. The de facto point guard. Darnell plenty capable of handling it, but more of a wing player most of the game. He's got it top of the key, going to try a three. Back rim, look good. Rebound Brooks Langer, and Langer kicks it out to Anthony Brown. Anthony. Finds Cam Brady, shot fake. Gets it back to Darnell. Darnell tried to split a double team. Martinborough comes away with the steal. And Martinborough gets all the way to the rim. Left-handed layup's up and good. Cuts the lead to 10. And Pioneers just have to stop the bleeding a little bit until Trey Brown can get back into the ball game. As their offense kind of sputters to a halt when they don't have their point guard in the game sometimes. You can't play 40 minutes, but plays close to it. And they got the ball moving here in that side-to-side -side continuity ball screen action. And there's another cut by, oh my goodness, Anthony Brown had both arms pulled down. Official on the baseline passes on it. Evangel's going to come away with it. Brown makes a great play defensively as Anthony should have had a steal. Salvi came up with it. And just a fortunate bounce for Evangel. Cade Kaufman's going to come away with an easy layup. A blown call on a layup attempt where Anthony Brown was fouled hard. 
and then a loose ball on a deflected pass that Salvi came up with and found an open Kaufman. What just an unfortunate bounce there for the Pioneers. Good hustle play from Salvi. Brooks Langer going to try a three, top of the key, and he banks it in. The bank's open on Saturday this week as Brooks Langer hits a three from the top of the key, and then Pioneers lucky Martin Burl, who's already in double figures, got ten points, had a wide open three in transition on the right wing and just missed it. So the Pioneers with an 11-point lead here in the first half, three and a half minutes to go before halftime. And Coach Lamar was not thrilled with the pace of this action. He's going to call a timeout, settle the Pioneers down just a little bit, see what they run coming out of the timeout. We'll be back in about 45 seconds. 11-point lead, three and a half to go with Menusports.com. To answer a question in the live chat there from Jared, I don't believe either team is ranked in the national top 25 polls, although Evangel probably would be if their newest poll came out right now at 9-2. and two. They are in first place in the conference, sitting atop the league at 3-0, and oh, and they're 9-2 and two overall, again, on a seven-game winning streak. Been a very impressive start to the season for Evangel. Uh, Pioneers have sputtered just a bit as they're sitting at 500, 6-6. Six and six playing very shorthanded these last couple of games. At full strength, I think they're about as good as anybody in the country, anybody in the league, but certainly not at full strength right now. Um, hopefully second semester they'll be able to get, again, a monster addition in Caleb Jones McCrary um, out of Kansas City, Kansas Junior College, will become eligible at January. And Pedro Lops, who's dealing with a plantar fasciitis tear in his foot, and may be able to return. So they're down you know, a 6'8 all-conference type player and a 6'7 all-conference player. And that's a huge, huge difference um, in the style of play for the Pioneers. So, um, again, neither team ranked, although Evangel probably should be or will be in the next poll. And they are sitting at the top of the league in the Heart of America Athletic Conference. Pioneers to run some offense, getting into their floppy set. Get it to Anthony Brown. There's going to be a little shuffle and then a staggered double. Now they're going to go to Langer. And Brooks feeds the post. Anthony Brown throws it down on the drop step. Good set play out of the timeout as they got Anthony Brown isolated in the post. And Brooks Langer was able to find him on the bounce pass. And Ant, with no dribbles, just raises up and throws it down. He's got 12. Pioneers lead by 13. And to answer your question, Joshua Accord, no. They are not ranked higher because they are not ranked. Neither team is ranked. I think we went over that pretty eloquently. They are higher in the league standings, though, if that's what you were referring to. Pretty pass there. Cade Kaufman found a cutting Manrique Alvarado. That's good offense. Kaufman had it in the high post, and Alvarado slipped that screen, cut back door, got himself a deuce. He's got five points. Now Anthony Brown isolates, finds a cutting Cameron Brady, and he goes double clutch, puts it over the front of the rim. And Cameron Brady now has 14 in this first half. Pioneers push that lead back to 13. Langer guards a cord. Now they get it to Kaufman, back to Alvarado. Manrique drives middle, drive and kick. Accord tries the three, right wing, misses everything. Pioneers come up with it. And Trey Brown's going to push. Good defense. That's how you make up for a missed shot. Autry Accord just steals it away from Trey Brown. And Cade Kaufman throws a lob to their point guard, Martinboro, who couldn't finish it, had to come down and got it swatted away by Jake Alexander. And Pioneers fortunate not to give up an easy deuce there. Alexander has it right side, looking to go into Cam Brady. He does, and that's going to be the third foul on Steven Salvi. For some reason, he's confused about the whistle, even though he clearly put two hands in the back and pushed Cam Brady on the entry pass. Pretty obvious call, and Salvi's going to come take a seat. Three fouls here in the first half and probably just about five minutes of play. And so the freshman, the 6'9 freshman, checks back in 
for Evangel. I'm not sure why Antonov doesn't play more minutes. He's pretty effective inside, but he's gone with Logan Rogers at the five spot this time. I'm sure he's a talented freshman. Rogers gets it to Alvarado, and Alvarado gets his ball stolen away by Trey Brown. Trey goes coast to coast and lays it in on the right side. Anthony Brown guards the top of the key. Now they get it to Kaufman right side. He's gone into a little bit of a double team. Halfway ice in a ball screen there. Now Kaufman gets himself a free look from three. You don't want to see that. Cade Kaufman's going to knock that down 45, 50% of the time. Now he's got six. Can't give him any airspace. I mean, he can really score the basketball. And when Anthony Brown's not guarding him, he's a whole lot more comfortable and knocks down a triple there. Cuts the lead to 12. Brown guarded by a cord top of the key. Gets by him, drive and kick to Alexander, and Jake tries a three, no good. Another rebound for Brady. Can't wait to see how many rebounds he has at halftime. I bet it's five, six, or seven. He's been all over the glass. Darnell Miller blows by Alvarado, and the pretty finish on the right side as Darnell Miller gets the Pioneers a layup. This should be the last possession of the half here. Just about a half second difference between shot and game clock. So if Angel's gonna run that clock down, try to take the last shot. Pioneers would love for it to be anybody but Cade Kaufman taking this last shot, I'll tell you that much. And he's going to come set the screen. And heady play by Trey Brown just takes a foul. Pioneers only have five team fouls. He's going to take one there, his first. So they didn't have to deal with that pick and pop action from Alvarado and Cade Kaufman. We go sideline inbounds play here. They should reset the shot clock. Pioneers. There's only seven on the shot clock. It should be now the referees are going to see it. On a personal foul, that shot clock should reset. However, I'm dumb. There is no shot clock now. Shot clock's off because there's only eight seconds to go in the game, or in the half, excuse me. As the freshman Rogers drives in, throws a wild pass to the corner. Cade Kaufman couldn't save it. Tried to bail out his teammate, but couldn't quite get it done. And so the Pioneers will get the last shot of the half, barring a turnover. 4.3 on the clock. That's all kinds of time. You got about four dribbles there. And they get it into Miller. He crosses midcourt. One, three. He gets all the way downhill. He's going to get a layup at the buzzer and just couldn't get it to go. Darnell, good take. Got it all the way to the rim on the left side and just couldn't get the layup to drop. But great first half for the Pioneers as they face such a hot Evangel team and go into the break with a 43-29 lead led by Cameron Brady with 14 and Anthony Brown with 12. We got a 15-minute halftime break. I'll come back in about 13 and a half, give you stats from the first half from both groups, and bring you the second half of action here on MNUSports.com, MNU Sports on YouTube. Men's 
best soccer all conference, first team, a senior defender from Piquet, Argentina, and honorable mention, NAIA All America, Fernando Churin. Second team, a senior midfielder from Hong Kong, Chuck Pan. Second team, a freshman forward from the Netherlands, Rick Ovinga. Third team, a sophomore defender from Canberra, Australia, Marco Izirianto.
Well, second half of action set to return here at the Cook Center, Rocky Lamar Court in the Bell Family Arena. Coach Lamar with 794 wins, inching closer and closer to that 800 mark. They got a countdown over here by me in the rafters trying to get to 795 today. Off to a good first half, but it's a long game, and they're playing a very, very good Evangel Valor team. Led in the first half by Idriel Martinborough with 10. He's the only uh, member of the Valor in double figures. Cade Kaufman with six. Pioneers led by Cam Brady, who had 14 points and nine rebounds in the first half. So he's one rebound away from his double-double average. And Anthony Brown had 12. Pioneers advantage on the glass, 21-15. And the difference in the ball game to me, Pioneers just four turnovers in the first half, and Evangel with 11 big turnovers. Uh, they flipped that stat around, and this could be a brand-new ball game. Pioneers have first possession. Trey Brown brings it across. And they get Cam Brady on the roll, and that's a good defensive play by Manrique Alvarado. He came over and helped side and stole that pass away from Brady. And he brings it across himself, comes off a little drag ball screen, drive and kick, Martinborough. Gets into the paint, the floater left it short, and Brady battling for the rebound, but Martinborough comes from behind, takes it away. And Adriel Martinborough, scrappy play there. Steals a possession for Evangel, and now he's going to try a three top of the key, and he got it. So Martinborough comes away with a big offensive rebound and then knocks down a three ball, cuts this lead to 11 right off the jump here in the second half. Anthony Brown thought he had an opportunity for a layup. Pioneers couldn't get it to him, good help side defense. Now they get it to him on a skip pass, extra pass, Trey Brown, cut off by Pritchett. Now he gets by him and they're gonna get him with a little body contact. That's a blocking foul. Josh Pritchett picks up his third. So now two pretty key players, good offensive players for the Vangel. Salvi had 3,000 the first half, and now Pritchett picks up his third, just 58 seconds into the second. Trey Brown to inbound, gets it to Brady in the corner. Vangel plays a funky baseline out of bounds defense. They make it really difficult to inbound it. Jake Alexander, nice drive, gets a step on Cade Kaufman and gets all the way downhill to his right hand and scores. Strong take there from Alexander. The COVID year sophomore should be junior out of McPherson, Kansas. And Martinborough is going to line up another wide open three and knock it down again. And he is shot, let's see, in the first half, Martinborough was two for three from three, and he's two for two now. So he's four for five from three point line, and he's gotten wide open looks. They've got to take that away. And Evangel's going to take over possession on a jump ball as they tied up Anthony Brown drive into the paint. Ten point ball game and man, Martinborough almost had another clean look from three. Darnell Miller cuts him off and Adriel Martinborough lost it. I think dribbled it off his foot there. Miller, good defense that time to cut him off. Can't give him another clean look from the three point line as he shot it so well. Miller brings it across. Comes off that two man pick and roll with Brady and he's going to draw a foul. Not sure if they're going to get the big on the hard hedge. No, they're going to get Alvarado said he got him into his hip, pushed a little bit. Only the second foul on Manrique. So Miller will inbound, sideline out of bounds. And Coach Capel was not thrilled with that whistle. Had a few words for the referee, and ref stopped action and decided to give him a formal warning. Whatever that means. He has been warned. Okay. Trey Brown gets it top of the key, loop to Miller. He's going to come off a high ball screen, gets downhill, crossover, and that's going to be a charge. Cade Kaufman did a nice job coming over and helped side. Got his feet set, was outside of the restricted area. And good play defensively from Kaufman. Only the second foul on Miller. Darnell did a nice job getting downhill off that initial ball screen action. Uh, he left his feet, was going to go make a scoring play, and Kaufman was there waiting for him. And Alvarado gets the offense set for Evangel. They go to Josh Pritchett on the right wing. Getting into that motion look where there's constant action at the elbows, pin downs and flares, tough action to guard. Now, oh, good pass. Kaufman unable to handle it. He thought that, he thought Martinborough was taking a shot attempt there, and his eyes went to the rim to go offensive rebound, and Martinborough fooled everybody, including Kaufman, and threw it off his head as Cade was looking for the offensive rebound, but good, good idea. And Brady... 
Man, great hard roll. Had an opportunity for a layup. It was very contested as Evangel collapsed on him there and missed it, missed the offensive rebound put back as well. And what a finish from Pavel Antonov as he caught it on the perimeter and took one dribble and throws it down with his left hand. The big dunk there from the Bulgarian. I mean, he's such a physical and athletic presence, but yet that's his first two points of the ball game. He doesn't play a ton of minutes in the first half, but man, he makes his presence known when he's out there and knocks down the free throw, so he's got three. 45-38's the score. Miller's gonna bring it across. Gets to Anthony Brown. They're gonna get into a little bit of dribble weave action. Alvarado denies Miller, so they have to reverse it. Now they do get it to Trey Brown. Alexander, ball's continuing to move, but Pioneers haven't been able to penetrate past the top of the key here. Cam Brady, shot fake, pull up jumper. He's really good from that spot, knocks it down. He loves that 15 foot area. Anything 17 feet and in is just about automatic for Cam Brady, and he hits that pretty pull up jumper. But if Angel Oha had a great opportunity to answer, Pavel Antonov had a wide open layup on the right side and just missed it. Too strong off the glass. Oh. Pioneers were off and running, and they're going to get Trey Brown for a travel. Trey came to a jump stop, tried to pivot and kick it back out. They're going to say his foot slid on him. So no harm done. Alvarado refuses a ball screen top of the key. Trey Brown did a nice job icing it. He took a pull-up jumper too short. Pioneers off and running. They've got numbers. Alexander driving kick, gets it to Miller. Darnell thought about a three. Turned it down, but then decided to take one off the dribble and stuck it. He's got eight points. Gives the Pioneers a 12-point lead. You can tell with Darnell if that thing's going in when it leaves his hand. When he sticks it and leaves his hand up in the air, confidently, you know it's got a chance to go in. Sometimes he pulls his hands down a little quick. Like he thinks he might have left it short, but big shot there from Miller. And Kaufman's shot too strong. Cam Brady comes down with the rebound, and they're going to throw it up the floor to Trey Brown. Brown is going to get it to Miller. Darnell gets in the middle lane, finds a cutting. Jake Alexander off the glass on the right side. It's good. And Alexander's up to nine points in the ballgame, pushes the Pioneers' lead out to 52-38. Alvarado comes back the other way, spinning in the lane. He draws a foul. I think this one's going to be on Anthony Brown. It is. Jace Coffey is going to check in for Evangel here, giving Antonov a, a breather. Man, that's the second time Evangel has just snuck behind the defense on the baseline inbounds play, and Pritchett had an opportunity for a layup, just couldn't get the bunny to drop. Did a nice job sealing his defender off. Had a chance at a layup, and Miller, man, Darnell so quick on the perimeter, gets by his defender with ease. I mean, just a lightning quick first step. Got by Cade Kaufman, and Cade wisely fouled him before he could shoot a layup. It's only Cade's first personal foul, so that's a good play by him. Heads up. Could afford to take that one. 52-38, Pioneers lead. Trey Brown probing on the left corner. Drives, kicks, Alexander penetrates, and he's going to get fouled by Kaufman. So now that's two fouls on the same possession for Cade Kaufman. Swiped him across the arm, came over and helped, tried to get a steal. Got Alexander across the forearm. Shout out to Lele. See you in the chat. I'm sure you're supporting Drew Smith and the Pioneers. Again, use that live chat feature. Let us know where you're at, who you're rooting for. Makes the broadcast much better when we can interact just a little bit. Doing a solo one-man crew over here. Trey Brown. Driving kick off the skip pass. He goes reverse layup. Said all that jelly and no toast. Went right hand on the left side, reverse layup. Trey Brown's got six, 54-38. And they go under a screen, and Alvarado makes them pay. You cannot go under a ball screen when Manrique Alvarado has the basketball because he's going to raise up and knock it down. He's done that twice tonight. He's got eight points. And we got a timeout, full timeout, so we'll take a one-minute break. 13-point ball game. Just under 15 minutes to go in the second half between your pioneers and the Evangel Valor. Don't go anywhere. MenuSports.com.
So play resumes here after the timeout. Pioneers up 13. Still a long ways to go in this one. Trey Brown being guarded full court by Martin Bro. He gets it in to Anthony Brown, who goes high-low. Really tough catch by Cam Brady. He forced that one a little bit. Good defense from Jace Coffey and Cade Kaufman. Forced a tough shot there. They were trying to get an easy basket at the rim, executing a set play out of the timeout, but nothing doing. Martin Burrow, this time they drive him off the three-point line, thankfully, because he's been money from there. Missed the pull-up, too, but he's going to get another look. Two for a dollar. Got it. You can't give him... A clean shot from three today. He's going to knock it down. He's got 19 points in the ballgame. I believe that's his fifth made three-pointer. And Anthony Brown has an answer. Got the tough contested floater to go, but he was going to be fouled on the floor before the shot. So baseline underneath, Pioneers will inbound. And Cam Brady, man, he had a bunny on the right side, couldn't get it to go off the glass. He got his defender off his feet with the shot fake, but just couldn't convert. And Manrique Alvarado with a pull-up jumper in response, no good. Trey Brown and Steven Salvi battle for the rebound, and Salvi's going to roll over. That's a travel, unless they got, a, they got the timeout first. They did. Heads up play to call timeout before Salvi rolled over, so Evangel will have the basketball when we come, we come back from this 30-second timeout. Shout out to Hayden Ballard. Appreciate you. Pioneer legend Dante Scroggins, over 500 rebounds in his career here as a Pioneer in the chat. That is Hudson Welty. Across the way, the current assistant coach at top 10 ranked in the country, Arizona Christian, a Pioneer alumni. Must be home for a day or two visiting family, and he decided to come check out his alma mater against Evangel. And why not? Been a great basketball game. Two good teams. Evangel had been absolutely rolling coming into this one. Winners of seven in a row, including that blowout at Drury, which is just so impressive. Beating an in-town rival like that. And the first time they'd played in quite, quite a few years, I believe. Cade Kaufman couldn't get that tough turnaround jumper to go. Another offensive rebound for Evangel. And Martinborough thought about a pull-up, turns it down. I'm not sure I'd turn down any shots right now if I'm Adriel Martin, bro, the way he's shooting it. He's got another clean look at three. Man, it's right on the money, just a little bit too strong. Off the back rim, Pioneers got lucky there. Clinging to a 10-point lead, now they go inside to Brady. Cam, double clutches, Cade Kaufman. I don't think he got a blocked shot, but he definitely altered the shot there, forced the miss on Brady. And Drew Smith and Autry Accord both sit at the scores table to check in, and Cam Brady says, you will get nothing and like it. Steven Salvi takes a highly contested pull-up jumper, and Cam sends it back from where it came. And it finds who else? Adriel Martinborough, wide open, top of the key, knocks down another one. I think he's got six made threes in the game. And now he forces a turnover in the backcourt. Man, Martinborough is all over the floor right now, playing phenomenal defense. He's got 22 of Evangel's 47. Rebounding the ball on both ends of the floor. I mean, can't say enough about the play of the senior guard from the Bahamas right now. He's got another opportunity. Ball on the right wing, guarded by Darnell Miller. Now Alvarado comes off that ball screen, and it's poked away by Brady. Good hands. The Pioneers off and running. Trey Brown gets it to Anthony Brown. and Man, he tried to throw it down on top of Israel Martinborough. Martinborough only 5'11", but very athletic. Jumps out of the gym. They run a lob play to him sometimes in the past we've seen on film. And he went up to contest the dunk on Anthony Brown. That's the second time today that Anthony's gone up for a dunk in traffic and been fouled and gone down hard. He looks to be okay. Not a dirty play at all. Just two athletes making a play at the rim, but they both went down hard. Both look to be okay. Anthony's a little shaken up, but going to the line for two. So we are aware that you guys cannot see the updated score on the live stream, so I'll do my best to update you verbally on the time and score. Not sure why the clock is not in sync with the broadcast here, but I'll, I'll make sure to update that verbally as we go on here. It's currently 12 and a half minutes to go. Pioneers ahead, 55 to 47. 
And Anthony Brown goes two for two with the line, so make it 56-47. The crowd giving a chord just a little bit of friendly jest every time he touches it. And he's got it now left side, guarded by Drew Smith. Cord swings it to Salvi, looking to enter the post to Jace Coffey, and does. Jake Alexander gambled for a steal, and Coffey was able to seal him off, got over the front of the rim, and lays it in. Good post move there from Jace Coffey. His first two of the ball game. Darnell Miller gets hung up in traffic, is able to get rid of it, finds Jake Alexander, top of the key, a little pressure relief. Pioneers back to that small lineup. No bigs on the floor. Anthony Brown's essentially their five man right now. Alvarado pushing. Evangel had numbers. Accord thought about a three. Turned it down, penetrating pitch. Now they get it back to the hot hand in Adriel Martinborough. He gets a step on Miller, gets downhill, and lays it in. And he's been unguardable today. He's got 24. I mean, almost literally half of his team's points. Not sure there's another Evangel player in double figures. I don't think there is. Now right, Anthony Brown is going to be called for a charge. That's Jace Coffey who stepped in and took it. No argument from Anthony. He tried to avoid the charge and jump sideways there to get a blocking call, but Coffey in legal guarding position. So Pioneers are in the bonus for the last 11 minutes here as Evangel has 16 fouls. Pioneers only 14 fouls. Been a much more physical and, and whistle-happy second half than we had in the first, both ways. Shout out to our floor sweeper in his ugly Christmas sweater, joining our cheerleading team on the baseline in their ugly Christmas sweaters. At least I hope it's an ugly Christmas sweater theme, otherwise I'm going to sound like a jerk but I'm 90% sure that it is. If not, I love the sweaters. They look great. Alvarado gets it right wing. Josh Pritchett, been a little bit quiet. He's been in foul trouble. Fortunate there for the Pioneers. Accord had a step, had a nice curl cut to the rim, and there was a deflection on the pass, last touch by Accord, but the ball was deflected before it ever got to him. Otherwise, he might have had a layup. Pioneers fortunate to come away with it. They've gone cold here. See if they can get on the scoreboard. They need one. They're going to go to this little pin down dribble handoff action to get Anthony going downhill. Blown up by Cade Kaufman. Good defense from Evangel. Skip pass. Looking to enter the post. Can't. Another skip to Drew Smith. Drew's going to drive baseline. He tries to get it to the corner. Josh Pritchett does a nice job dropping down and help side. Deflects that pass out of bounds. So a great defensive possession here from Evangel. Leaves the Pioneers to throw it in baseline underneath with only four seconds on the shot clock. They'll take away that quick lob. Ooh, Anthony Brown with a great cut to the rim. Had an opportunity. Couldn't get it. Couldn't get the inbounds passed. And the referee was about to steal that ball away from Jace Coffey, who was about to take off with it because it was a shot clock violation before the steal. So before there was a change of possession, they're going to stop it call a shot clock. Jace didn't, he didn't think so. He said, I'm going to go ahead and dunk this. And the, the referee said, no, you're not. I'm going to play defense here. And we'll take just a minute to appreciate our, our ugly sweater guy coming out and mopping up the floor. A couple bodies hit the ground there, so there's a little wet spot. And it's almost the second half of the second half with 10 and a half minutes to go. Evangel has cut deeply into the first half lead of the Pioneers. And Jace Coffey with some fancy footwork underneath. A couple pirouettes, kept his pivot foot down and scores a little right-handed jump hook off the glass. And it's a three-point ball game. And you knew a team as good as Evangel wasn't going to go away with that halftime deficit. But their defense has been tremendous here at the start of the second half, as well as Idriel Martinborough on offense. And it's a brand-new ball game. Drew Smith takes the three left corner. Too strong, and what a play by Anthony Brown. Don't, Anthony, don't do anything stupid. He didn't. Went up for a rebound, got tied up with Cade Kaufman. Cade's going to get called for the foul, as he should. And Ant took a little bit of exception to that, and rightfully so. I mean, he did rip his shoulder down out of the air, but two players just getting tangled up going for a rebound. And that's a big play because Anthony Brown's going to go to the line for a one-and-one -one opportunity. 
Cade Kaufman picks up his third foul, and we'll be back after the media timeout. Under 10 minutes to go, 56-53 is your score. MNUsports.com, MNU Sports on YouTube. So action will resume with Anthony Brown having a one-and-one -one opportunity at the free throw line in what is essentially the fourth quarter, under 10 minutes to go. No good. Free throw rattles out. Always hate that as a player when you have to sit for a minute in a timeout and then come out and shoot a one-and-one. -one. Getting iced. And nice backdoor cut by Autry. Martinboro found him, and Autry Accord lays it in for the two, his first two of the ball game and cuts it to a one-point game as he guards the ball top of the key. And they get it into Anthony Brown, going to run that little shuffle action. Anthony comes off of it. They're going to look for him in the post. Good help side defense. Can't get it to him. Man, this half-court defense from Evangel has been stifling in the second half. But good play, Drew Smith. Drew Smith gets all the way into the paint, draws the help side defender, coffee, and drops it off to Cam Brady for the easy deuce. Pioneers needed that. There had been a lid on the basket on this end of the floor for about five minutes. Hopefully that busts it wide open. The Pioneers are going to switch things up. They go into that 3-2 zone that was pretty effective in the first half. Anthony Brown at the top kind of following the level of the basketball. Can hide your size deficiencies a bit. But Josh Pritchett, nice backdoor cut, and he smokes the layup. Fortunate for the Pioneers as Pritchett makes a really nice cut from the wing. Had a fairly uncontested layup but missed it. Man, I feel like every time the Pioneers miss a layup, the three's made the other way. But on this end, Evangel missed the layup, and Pioneers unable to knock down the three. And Trey Brown had a good look in the corner. And Trey's going to take a seat, get a quick blow. Don't think he's been out yet this half. So Darnell Miller will share some of the point guard responsibilities here. Three-point ball game. Pritchett inbounds, gets it to Autry Accord. Swings it to Martinborough, the hot hand. They go inside to Pritchett. He's a good post player for a guard. He's one-on-one -on -one in the post with Jake Alexander. He gets middle of the lane and puts it off the glass and in. Only his fourth points of the game, a guy who averages close to 15. Pritchett, he's been in foul trouble, in fairness to him. And Miller gets all the way downhill and tried to drop it off to Brady, and those two just kind of fumbled the handoff. It's a turnover. And just like that, the Valor take a one-point lead as Martinboro lays it in, taking advantage of the turnover. 59-58's your score. Timeout, Pioneers. That's going to be a full timeout, so they'll take a seat. One minute, we'll be back. 59-58, the lead for Evangel. Under eight minutes to go in the ballgame, MNUsports.com.
play resumes. Cam Brady with 18 points and 12 rebounds to lead the Pioneers here and having to do a ton of that inside work on his own with the absence of Pedro Lops and Caleb Jones McCrary battling tough inside. Jake Alexander knocks down a three on the left wing. A huge shot from Alexander. Gives the Pioneers the lead again, 61-59, as they had been struggling to score it here in the second half. That might be the first perimeter jump shot they've hit in the second. They go back into their zone, and Jace Coffey snuck behind the defense but got his shot blocked. It might have been Alexander that got a piece of it as Jake with back-to-back -back huge plays. See if the Pioneers can take advantage in transition. Darnell Miller's going to take a three. He got it. Darnell Miller with his third made three of the game. And just like that, the Pioneers go from down one to up five in about 20 seconds. And they'll fall back into that 3-2 zone. Drew Smith, Darnell Miller, and Anthony Brown up top. Alexander and Brady down below. And they get it to Salvi, right corner, trying to go high-low, go inside to Coffey, kicks it back out. Good defense so far from the Pioneers. Now Jace Coffey takes an 18-foot jumper in the corner. No good. Rebounds batted around. Anthony Brown and Cade Kaufman both skying for that rebound. It gets tipped out to the perimeter. And then really the exact same play that happened earlier where Kaufman collided with Alexander and there was no call. This time Alexander collides with Salvi and they're going to go ahead and call it a loose ball foul. So 20 more seconds on the clock. Pioneers are small right now. They're going to have to gang rebound as Antonov has checked back in, the big Bulgarian for Evangel, standing at 6'8", along with Kaufman, who rebounds extremely well. And Pritchard and Salvi, and Martinborough, too, all five of these guys rebound well for their, their height and position. Pritchett probes top of the key, gets it to Salvi, who takes a super contested three, which is blocked. Questionable shot selection from Steven Salvi tonight. Trey Brown, one extra pass. Darnell Miller lines up a three, and he hits another one. It's Miller time, and you know how I love hearing that. 67-59 as Darnell Miller's up to 14. Back-to-back -back threes, and he pushes the lead back to eight. Pioneers lead 67-59. Timeout Crusaders. It's a 30-second timeout, so we won't go anywhere. But the first... 12 minutes of this second half, the Pioneers just could not buy a basket. Great half-court defense from Evangel. And then in the last two minutes, that lid has blown off the goal as they've hit a three from Alexander, back-to-back -back threes from Darnell Miller. Cam Brady had a layup in that sequence, and they have gone from down one to up eight in about two minutes of game time. Now they've got to sustain this defense that they're playing. They're in a little bit of a gimmicky 3-2 zone trying to hide their size disadvantage. And Salvi has bailed them out taking some contested jumpers. Antonov and Kaufman are working that high, high low short corner high post action and if they can get it in there against the zone they're going to get good looks. To me at this point as long as Martinborough is not shooting the ball you can consider it a win if they're a Pioneers defense, as Adriel Martinborough has 26 of Evangel's 59 and shot the leather off the basketball here today from the three-point line. We're having a little officials timeout. I don't know if they're reviewing time on the clock or what. Officials still chatting with the scores table. And now motioning for play to get back to get back to action. There's a thumbs up at the scores table, thumbs up from the officials, but yeah, we're still not playing basketball. Maybe just cleaning up a wet spot. But here we go. Salvi has the ball. Now Alvarado swung in the corner to Martinborough. Just don't let him shoot. Continuing to work against this 3-2 zone. Alvarado back to Salvi. Now that's a good one. He gets an open three, hit every part of the rim but didn't drop, and he gets bounced all the way to the top of the key where Anthony Brown corrals it. So with five and a half minutes to go, it's 67-59. And Trey Brown working on the right wing against Martinborough. They get it to Miller. Here comes that high ball screen. He's going to attack left side, splits the defender, gets all the way downhill, kicks it out, Alexander. Open three. He got it. 
Jake Alexander hits another one off the drive and kick from Miller. And Steven Salvi with a putback attempt on Pritchett's layup to answer on the other end. So it's 70-61, five minutes to go. But on four straight Pioneer possessions, we've gone Alexander three, Miller three, Miller three, Alexander three. Holy cow. Under five minutes to go. Nine-point ball game. And they're going to go back to that high ball screen. Miller has it. Here comes Brady to set the screen. Darnell's going to come off his right hand this time. Drew some help. Couldn't kick it to Alexander. Now they go Cam Brady. Dribble handoff to Anthony Brown, and that's going to be a traveling call. That's the opposite end of the court from where I'm standing, so I can't see Anthony's feet there. I'll have to trust the guys in stripes, which I don't like to do. 4.30 on the clock. Anthony grabbing at his ankle. Don't like to see that. They're still in the 3-2 zone. They get it to Cade Kaufman in the corner. He gets a clean look from three, left it short, contested by Alexander, and that's the problem with that zone. Sometimes it's awfully tough to box out out of it because you don't necessarily have a defined man. And Evangel comes up with another offensive rebound, but Trey Brown's going to thought he was going to steal the pass on the skip, but he deflects it into the backcourt. So late shot clock, Martinboro got Cam Brady off his feet and will settle for a two-pointer from Martinboro instead of the three. Cam did run him off the three line, but Martinboro hits a tough pull-up jumper as Trey Brown came to contest it late. But he has been nails here tonight, and it's a seven-point game. Under four minutes to go. 70-63 is your score. And Trey Brown's going to go to the line. Martin Burrell just got a little bit too aggressive guarding the basketball. Tried to gamble for a steal on the pass. Got some body contact. And he's going to send Trey Brown to the free throw line. And I really hope Trey makes this free throw. And I'm not going to tell you why until he does. Can't be the announcer's jinx. And it was anyway. I screwed him over. Trey Brown has 999 points as a pioneer. And his next one will put him over 1,000 points in a Mid-America uniform. And nobody deserves it more than Trey does. As Steven Salvi knocks down a little 15-foot jumper in the short corner, cuts the lead to five. Now Salvi's in double figures. He's got 10. Trey Brown swings it to Alexander. Back to Trey. Cam Brady's going to come set the ball screen. They get a switch because it was guard to guard defensively. Darnell Miller takes a step back three, too strong, and yep, that's the right call. Jake Alexander tried to steal that rebound away from Cade Kaufman, but got him on the arm. Only Jake's first personal, but the sixth on the Pioneers in the half, so both teams in the bonus. Assistant coaches Adam Hepker, national champion and three-time All-American, Yelling to his guys, three minutes left. Make these defensive possessions count. And Adam will be the head coach come spring when legendary head coach Rocky Lamar retires. So we're thrilled to have Coach Hepker back in the Cook Center where he was a blast to watch. And we know his teams are going to be very successful as a coach. But Idriel Martinborough, backdoor cut, snuck behind everybody and lays it in. He's got 30. Timeout, Pioneers. So 2.46 on the clock. Three-point ball game. The Pioneers lead the red-hot Evangel Valor 70-67. to We'll take a full timeout. Be back in one minute. MNUsports.com.
Trey Brown being guarded by a cord, top of the key. Massive possession. Gets it to Anthony Brown. He gets downhill, splits the double team. He's going to take that floater. He got it to go. That is such a difficult shot as Anthony Brown was cut off. Got to that Euro step. Off his left foot, got the floater to go. He's got 16, and Pioneers lead by five. Two and a half minutes to play. And Mid-America going to stay in that 3-2 zone, trying to hide their size a little bit. Cam Brady has to go all the way out to the corner to guard Cade Kaufman. Now they get isolated in the post. Pritchett missed the jump hook, but Steven Salvi was there to clean it up. Got the offensive rebound and put back 79-62. Excuse me, 72-69 is the score. Two minutes to play. Every possession is so crucial in a ball game like this. Can't have a turnover, can't have a bad shot. Silly foul. Have to execute late in ball games both ways. Both teams better in groups. And Miller lost the basketball, tried to save it, and their official said his foot was on the baseline, out of bounds line. So Evangel's going to take over with an opportunity to tie this ball game. Pioneers are going to go back to their man-to-man -man as Evangel got pretty comfortable against that 3-2 zone. And now Pritchett, shot fake, lines up a three ball, right corner, he got it. Tie game, 72-72. Pioneers are scrambling a little bit defensively, trying to get a stop now. Switching zone to man and just Evangel comfortable getting whatever they want offensively. Great extra pass here. Anthony Brown got into the lane, found an open Darnell Miller in the corner, but Darnell couldn't get it to go. Kaufman saves it under his own goal. Anthony Brown came up with it and puts it in for two. Sometimes the ball just bounces your way, and Cade Kaufman trying to make a hustle play probably unwisely saves it under our basket. And Anthony Brown came up with it and got himself an easy deuce, put the Pioneers up too. Big defensive possession now. Salvi has it guarded by Trey Brown. Now they get it to Alvarado. Got a quickness advantage. He's being guarded by a big. Cade Kaufman takes a fadeaway jumper. No good. There's Martin Burrow again. Gets his offensive rebound. And that shot was blocked, but they're going to call a jump ball. And that possession arrow favors the Pioneers. Man, Martin Burrell is all over the place. He comes up with a huge offensive rebound and had an opportunity to score it, but Cam Brady got his hand on it, tied him up, and Pioneers are going to take over. There is a 10-second difference between shot and game clock, so I would imagine Evangel will not foul. They'll try to play this thing out and get a stop, but if the Pioneers score a bucket here, it becomes awfully tough. Two-point game, 74-72, 30 on the game clock, 20 on the shot clock. Trey Brown gets it high post to Cam Brady. Brady surveying, travels. They were trying to get to that pin down dribble handoff action to get Anthony Brown the basketball going downhill. And Evangel did a nice job blowing it up. Forced Cameron to make a, a move in traffic and officials say his foot slid and Evangel's gonna get the last opportunity of this ball game down by two. And Drew Smith comes in and guards the basketball. He's got Alvarado. Who still has a top of the key. Now they go to Pritchett, guarded by Darnell Miller. Can't give up a three here. Cade Kaufman, he's going to take a three. Right corner, no good. Rebound Martinborough. Stripped away by Drew Smith. Drew gets on the barrette. He got it. He got the ball and got it to Anthony Brown. And the Pioneers are going to win this thing as Anthony's going to go to the free throw line with .5 seconds to go in the game. What a play by Drew Smith. Drew just checked into the game for defensive purposes. Does an excellent job guarding the ball. And there's an offensive rebound that's kicked out. And the Valor had an opportunity for a second look at it. And Drew Smith got his hand on the ball, stole it away, dives on the floor, and gets it to Anthony Brown with half a second left on the game clock. Anthony's going to go to the line with a chance to seal this thing. And the officials are going to send both teams to their benches and take a look, I'm assuming, at time remaining on the clock to make sure that they have that accurately. As again, first team all-conference player, Cade Kaufman, had a contested look, but a makeable shot on the right wing. Drew back iron, and Evangel came away with the offensive rebound and a huge steal from Drew Smith. 
But while the officials take a look at the clock, we'll take a quick timeout. 74-72. As of right now, .5 to go in the, in the ball game. That could change. Stay tuned to Minusports.com. Okay, so the correction that was made is they had the foul called on the wrong player for Evangel. The foul was actually on Steven Salvi, his fourth, and they added four-tenths of a second, so there is .9 on the clock. So they got the foul on the right guy and added a little bit of time, one and one. Anthony knocks down the first one. So Pioneers lead by three, .9 on the clock, which is enough time if he misses for the Evangel to rebound and, and get a shot off. And if he makes it, that, that'll pretty much do it. And he does. Pioneers lead 76-72. Coach Capel's going to call a timeout. I would expect to see the full court inbounds play where either they're going to throw it deep and try to get a tip in, or I don't know why Mid America would press. I'm sure they won't. But teams like to run that play where they set somebody up on the baseline and the inbounder runs the baseline and tries to draw a charge. I'm sure the Pioneers will not be pressing to avoid a situation like that. But .9 seconds to go in the ball game. And Coach Capel, I think, calling a timeout more out of frustration with the officials than because he thinks they have an opportunity to win this ball game. To no fault of Idriel Martin Burroughs, my goodness, did he play a phenomenal basketball game today. I don't have his total stats in front of me. I can see on the big board that he's got 30 points. I'm sure he doesn't have a triple-double, but it feels like he's done everything. Got several offensive rebounds, defended well, drawn opportunities for his teammates, and seems like he hit every shot he took. Salvi also in double figures with 12 for Evangel, but Cam Brady with 18, Darnell Miller 14, Jake Alexander 15, and Anthony Brown with 20 to lead the Pioneers, a shorthanded Pioneers team, to a big win against Evangel as Pritchett heaves up a half quarter that doesn't go. What a game by the Pioneers. They steal one against a really, really good Evangel Valor team. 76-72. Thanks for being with us on MNUSports.com. Good night, everybody.